Today I'm going to be filming a Finish 13 by Halloween Project Pan. I know there's probably some people that have been doing this for a while now, but I thought I'd go ahead and jump on the bandwagon. I was thinking about starting a Project Pan and then I decided to go ahead and do this one and have kind of an end goal for when I was going to finish these products. So I have 14 items here that I want to work on finishing up before Halloween. I will film an update now to show you guys where I am and then I'll do another update at the beginning of October and then I'll show my finale around Halloween. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys the products that I want to work on using up and where they're at right now. So the first thing that I want to work on finishing up is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the mattifying version. So this one I've already gotten some use out of. I'm about a third of the way done or so. This I really really am not a huge fan of. It tends to make my makeup ball up a little bit underneath or on top of it and it does not make my skin look great. But if I very carefully pat it around my T-zone, it can be okay. I want to try to use this up as much as I can. I know I won't use up the whole thing, but then I think I'm going to toss whatever I don't finish just because I don't really like using it all that much. So we'll see how that one goes. I also want to finish up this Kula Face SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen Matte Tint. So this is supposed to be a really natural BB cream. I've had it for a little while. I've used up most of it. The expiration date is December, and so I just need to finish up what's left in here. I tend to use this when I know I'll be outside, like if I go to my niece's soccer game or something like that. And so I should be able to finish it up if I use it on the weekends that way. I don't love using this every day just because it's not very high coverage, it's very light coverage. Um, but it's a decent product, so I want to finish that up before it goes bad. Then I want to finish up my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is in 102 Shell Beige. This is actually almost done. I have two other bottles of this. I have one in a lighter shade and then one in this shade. Um, right now I'm this color, but pretty soon I probably won't be. I'll need to mix it in with the lighter one. So I want to make sure that I use this up while I still am this color. It's almost gone. I can hear the air come out when I'm using it. I can't tell where I actually am because the bottle is kind of like the foundations moved around, but I will cut it open and use the rest of it up too when I get to the point where it's not coming out of the bottle anymore. But I feel like I should be able to finish this up by Halloween. My last base product is this PH Matchmaker by Physicians Formula. It is like a powder in light. So here's what happened with this one. It's supposed to be like a regular powder. Um, I was getting to the edges, so I tried to repress it and it became pink. So now I'm gonna use it up as a blush because it is quite pink. So apparently that pH matchmaker stuff is no joke. So it comes off more like a blush. So I did use it as a face powder. Now I'm gonna try to use it up as a blush. We'll see how far I can get by Halloween. Then I have two cheek products here. So the first thing is this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Lunch Money. And this was one that I actually didn't really like and I like it much better now. It does have a good dip in it. This I like actually quite a bit, but I don't love the formula as formulas go for cream highlighters. I prefer like a straight up liquid highlighter, but this I really enjoy and I want to get my money's worth out of it. So I'm going to finish using this up. We'll see how far I get. I do have a good dip in it already. So hopefully I can finish it by Halloween. One of my cats is being the biggest nuisance today. Okay. This is the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle in Watermelon and Moonstone. This I got in a Becca set before. I really like this as a cream blush. That's how I use it. I've been using it with a stippling brush. So there's like weird little holes in it. I'm a good chunk of the way done, so I don't think this will take me too much longer. Um, hopefully I can finish that up by Halloween and then move on to some of my other cream blushes. I have two lip products that I want to work on using up. This one is one of the double-sided ColourPop Lippy To Go's. I got a bunch of these in a set. This one's in Bound, so on one side it has a lip liner. And then the other side it has a lipstick. I actually really like this color quite a bit. There is not a ton of product in these, so I've been using it pretty regularly for about two weeks. And if I keep it up and use it pretty much every day, then I think this should be gone in a, like by the next update even. Then I also have a lipstick by Bare Minerals. This is a little sample size of the Marvelous Moxie in Speak Your Mind. This I've been using pretty much every day for a couple months now. I've worn down this side, so this side's at the plastic. I think this will be done by Halloween. I tend to, the last few weeks at least, I've layered these two things on each other. So I really like the look of them together. So I will probably finish both of those up by the end next update, maybe. Then I have a bunch of eye and eyebrow products that I want to work on using up. So the first thing that I have is the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is actually almost gone, like there's not very much left. So this will definitely be gone by the next update, but I just want to get myself in the mindset to use it up. And then when that's gone, I want to work on using this Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter in 
um, matte cream is this color so it goes to here the other side is luminous lift but this side I worked on for a long time and I never quite finished so I want to try to finish that up if I get done with this other eye pencil then I have an eyebrow product this used to be one of my favorites this is the YBF your best friend automatic eyebrow pencil in universal taupe it has a spoolie on one side and then it has the brow on the other side there's not a ton left in here. I like to use this because it's really quick and easy, but it's not the best color for me anymore. I like to go for a more reddish brown. Um, and this is getting a little bit dry, so it's getting a little bit hard to use. So I should finish this up and then see if there's other brow products in my collection that I would use and kind of get the use out of that. And then I have two eyeshadow things that I want to work on. So the first thing that I have here is the Coastal Sense Reveal 2 Palette Sampler in Ballerina. Both of these products actually you will recognize from my Pan That Palette from last year. This was one of the ones that I mentioned that I wanted to work on but I never really got much use out of. You'll see that there's pretty good pan in two of these shadows. What I decided I want to do is I want to finish off this eyeshadow, this rose gold one, and then get as much use out of the other ones as I can. But if I finish this one off, I think I'm going to call this pretty much good because the only reason I really use this palette is for this color all over the lid and then everything else works well with it. But the thing is, I have a full-sized Reveal 2 palette, so I just want to finish off that rose gold color to call it done, and then I'm going to get rid of this. So once I finish that off, then I'm going to call this palette good. The other thing that I want to work on in my Naked Basics palette, this was also in my Pan That palette last year, but I want to finish off these two colors, so I'm going to count these kind of together. So Walk of Shame is almost done. I use this to blend out my crease color pretty much every day. And then I have Naked 2 over here, which is about a, a third of it left. And so I want to finish up those two. When I get done with those, I'm going to depot this faint color and then I'm going to throw away the palette because I just don't need it anymore. So I'm going to try to work on those two colors and get those done before Halloween. So that is it for the products that I'm going to work on using up for my Finish 13 by Halloween. All of these products are good products. They're products that I like for the most part. I just want to move them out of my collection because they're older or they're almost gone and I just want to finish them up. So I would love to know if you guys are doing this project or any project pans. Let me know that in the comments down below. I would love to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.